So that's the first game of Five Nights at Freddy's, huh? Five Nights at Freddy's, my favorite childhood game. Joe, that's funny. You make it sound like you weren't already an old man playing this game. You're laughing now, but you won't be when your little girl starts screaming for my help. I don't want to be screaming at all. I don't like getting scared. This series would be awesome. Subscribe to Top Presidents. This is only night one. Let's see how well you play. Where the hell are we? This looks so different to Sister Location and Pizzeria Simulator. On the left is Bonnie, then Chica, then Freddy. Oh, so there's more animals now. They are still called animatronics bushy wushy. This place looks like the crusty, dusty, musty Joe Biden's crib. So old, dark, and creepy. What's gotten into you, Donnie? Did Melania not give you enough action last night? You're just jealous you have a malfunctioned dong. You fat oompa. Loompa. I can't wait when Chica eats you alive. Chica, that fat orange chicken. Are you sure you should be insulting Chica that way, Donnie? I mean... Chica isn't that fat and hasn't turned orange. Don't worry, by the time he's roasted, he would be more burnt than Obama. Chica is a she. Boney has disappeared. Did you call him Boney because you are hard right now, Barack? I swear you orange Oompa Loompa. Is Bonnie not Boney? Okay, gotcha. So Bonnie the Bunny? Yep, that's how it was named. How many rooms does this place even have? What the heck even a camera in the toilet? That's the worst ever design of a house. You know what the toilet and Sleepy Joe Biden have in common? What do you want now, you fat pumpkin seed? They are both full of shit. I will pick up the toilet scrubber and shove it down your throat. I swear there's never a moment you guys never get in a fight. Yeah, anyways, let me just move on. Bushy wushy, you should save the power. Bro, it's night one. These animatronics won't get that crazy. Still, it's a good habit to also keep the door open to save power. Bonnie only appears from the left side. Nah, Bushy, be the first alpha dog to complete the night and surviving a full 5 a.m. That actually would be epic. I am actually gonna do it. 4 a.m. and only 7% Bushy. No one I knew has ever died in night one. Don't worry. I plan on playing night two today as well. Look at that animal staring at the wall like an NPC. It's Bonnie or Freddy, I can't tell. Either way, that was a literal NPC staring at us. Is that really your strategy to play this night, Bushy Wushy? Just wait and see Joe. The Giga Chat is coming in to finish 5 a.m. with no power. That would never work out for later nights, Bushy. This game is glitching. Nothing happening at 0%. Half a percent will also show up as 0%. Or uh, what's happening? You're out of power, Bushy. Let's go to 6 a.m. already. So we are the first ever people to complete 5 a.m. on no power. Uh, I am actually scared. Are the creatures gonna eat me? I warned you to conserve your power, Bushy. But it's just night one, so you should pass it no problem. Freddy will now swallow you for being an old farm man. Joe, why do you get so creepy every time you open your damn mouth? Nice one, you finally won Bushy. Yes, let's go. Oh, fuck me. Freddy's at the door. He's gonna swallow your ass next. Why the fuck is the screen black now? Nothing's happening. Joe, I thought you were an expert. You scaring us for no reasons you- what the fuck? You can die in night one. That cow dung covered teddy bear looks like a fucking psychopath. That bear was actually super scary. Holy shit, I got goosebumps everywhere. Let me play this round now to save us from the embarrassments. Joe, if you don't know already, you already are an embarrassment to the people of our country. I took shitty economy from you, Trump, and I'm making it great again. Totally, you made it better by starting World War III. Boys, let's not dive into that. We don't want another video demonetized. Who the hell even is calling us at this hour? He's the phone guy. He will play an important role later on to give us clues of the game. We are only on night one. Are you sleep talking again, Joe? No, Trumpy Rumpy. If you dive deep into the lore of this game, you would understand everything that is happening. Who asked? You did, Humpity Dumpity Trump the Rump. Calm down, boys. So what even is this place? Like I said, this is Joe's crusty, musty, dusty crib. Bite of 87, that's a very deep theory to explore. Great Joe is talking about biting little kids now. Yes, it actually is, Barack. The bite of 87 is a mysterious... Boring! What the hell was that? I said you were boring Joe Biden. I'm trying to explain some lore here. But I have a more interesting question to ask. Fine, go ahead, Trump. Let's get your question over with. Who in the world is listening to a phone guy from clearly a scam call center in the middle of the night? Once again, the phone guy is the guy who gives you instructions, game mechanics, and hints some lore to you. This is rigged. He's not even in the building. That's beyond the point, Trump. It's a 10-year-old game. It can't be perfect. So like I was saying before, the bite of 87 is... So this place is indeed Joe Biden's crib, huh? No, this game is set in Chuck E. Cheese's-esque pizzeria, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Got it, Trump? So it's a haunted pizzeria. Sounds like it. The rooms and set up all links together. Now will you let me finish? Yeah, go ahead. Trump and you? Whatever. My brain is still processing how disgusting this business is set up. The bite of 87 is a big incident that happened during a security guard ship. This business is messed up. Oh my god, I give up. Trump, now we can learn the lore from Joe. If I had to run this place, it would have at least 1,000 security guards, 100 armored tanks, and 10 nuclear bomb ready to fight these animatronics. This sounds like a very Republican, actually a very communist business. That's really messed up. I don't want that teddy bear, that rabbit, or that chicken anywhere near me. I don't think they would want to go anywhere near you. You could possibly break their metal suits. Yeah, we can't lose you, Donnie. 
It's okay, Donnie. I've checked the left and I have checked the right door and they are still nowhere. I swear if that chicken gets anywhere near me or scares me, I will rip out his bib and shove it up his ass. I never knew you were gay, Trumpy Rumpy. Chica is a she and the bib is the only clothes she has on her. And just letting you know, Chica will be out this night, so be cautious. Okay, Joe, and to you, Obama, you are literally gay for marrying Michael. Michelle, not Michael. And second, I don't go around trying to rip other girls' shirts, you fat orange creep. I did not know that bird was a female. It's a chicken, Donnie. Either way, they flap their wings and end up in deep frying pans. You eat a chicken, but I don't think people eat birds. Ask Kim Jong-un. I saw him eating a deep fried pigeon. Now, how did we end up getting Kim Jong-un into our game convos? If he was here, I could feast on that chubby piece of meat while I wait for the animals to fuck Joe Biden up the ass. Every time I think you can't say anything stupid or you surprise me otherwise. That's why I had to take your place as president because you doubt your capabilities. Admit the truth, Obama. I'm smarter, I'm richer, I'm sexier, and I'm stronger than your bony ass. And yet you only made one term. That's because Joe the crooked bum rigged the election. Joe and Baraki. What's up, Georgie? Anything wrong? Just let it happen. Let Trump have his way. You're right. I think that's the most logical thing to do right now. Just like losing the election, Trump will learn it the hard way. Just wait, Joe. Just you wait till the next election. All I ask if you don't cry when I beat you. We will let the people decide who wins or lose. No point us fighting about something that doesn't exist. Come on, guys. Put it together. There's only two more hours left to go. They need to have 4K cameras. Ah, uh, holy shit, is that Bonnie in the hallway. Hurry up and shut the goddamn wall, Joe Biden. It's okay. He will peek at the door so the light will be enough. I'm pretty sure that was Freddy. We don't need any more Mexicans. Mexican immigrants here. Oh my God, Donnie, you should apologize to the viewers right now. They come here as criminals and just like animatronics, they kill us. So close the wall now. Of course you would be scared of losing your precious and great body. You might be mixing up your speeches, Trump. This isn't a campaign rally, it's a horror game. But if we had a wall, that Charlie the Chocolate Factory looking teddy bear won't kill us like that. That's Freddy, not Charlie, and I don't think a wall's gonna stop him. You really should start getting your animatronics names correct, Donnie. I've always said we need a good defense strategy and building a wall would solve of everything. Stop it with your wall, Donnie. Did you see the comments on how many people hated your wall's comments? It really takes three of us to disagree to stop Trump. There's footsteps now. I close the door. Finally, you close that goddamn wall. You should be the expert at identifying a wall from a door. Joe's cocaine, demented and sleepy crooked friends are here and we're not going to survive another hour. That's why I put down the wall to stop them. Even you now, Joe, is confused with wall and door. Oh my bad, too much Trump speech is around me. Whatever happens, we need to stay safe in here. I don't want to see that r gag gag scaring animal again. You mean Freddie Bushy? Yes, that I don't want to see his face ever again. Finally, someone agrees with me. Lock all the doors, close the walls, and call the U.S. military for some backup. What the fuck did any of you saw the camera? It's like a yellow bird with a long beak. Her name is Chica. Go to the camera. I want to see that ugly bitch again. Why is her mouth so big and wearing a party looking bib? Because she's gay. What the fuck? When will this bear ever go away? Joe, hurry up, close that door before we get fisted up the ass by a teddy bear. This is just night one. I don't think animatronics would come at us from two directions. I literally died a few minutes ago. Because you used too much power. Oh shit, Chicka is right at the right door. If you had closed that metal wall when I told you a minute ago, your heart rate wouldn't have increased that much. You are literally puffing. If you closed the door too early, you would end up like Bush and run out of power. That was just just some inexperience, bro. Why are you scared, Joe? You literally have 32% power and it's the final hour. Habits, Donnie, habits. Later nights you would be begging if you had more power. So are you saying the power somehow magically runs out faster? Like, is that how the game is designed? Sounds like hyperinflation to me. I'm pretty sure the power depletes at the same rate, but Foxy will start to come out next night. Who the hell is Foxy? Is it a fox? Once we get to night two, you will see Bushy Wushy. Let's go. How did I even end up with 25% power remaining? Because you are our current president who knows exactly how to play a kid's horror game. Another video, another night at crusty, dusty, musty Joe Biden's crib. Is this not Wordle? A completely different game, but sleeping Joe still wouldn't get the introduction right. I'd have said it was too early for this, but Biden, it seems you intentionally set yourself up for the roasts. Not my fault. I took a nap while the game was loading. Couldn't hold the surprise waking up in a dark room. We'll pretend that isn't some of your lame excuses, but let's get ahead already. Tonight would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe. When do I get to see Foxy? You mentioned it last night, Biden. Foxy, the fox, or maybe something related. Joe, please continue from where you stopped last night. You seem to understand this game better than we do. Sure, again, I repeat, he is the only president of the United States who knows how to play a kid's horror game effortlessly. Stop being a crybaby and let's focus on the game, Trump. Okay, I think that's Foxy. I didn't see that last night. Shut up, dickhead. That's Freddy. You literally played around yesterday. How can you not remember the animal that feasted on your rotten face? That's some signs of old age syndrome right there. I'm damn sure. I hope we don't lose you soon, bushy-wushy. I'm still as strong as the gate of hell. 
ask your designers to hold off on their obituaries. Bushy, have you been to hell before? Hallucinations, another sign of a weakening brain. My thoughts are with you, Bush. With the rate at which your power is draining, I doubt you would survive this night like you did last night. I was very sure yesterday was a fluke. Unmerited luck that made old Sleeping Joe look like a master of the game. Watch me continue with my magic. All you have to do at this point is learn. The only hope we have is grumpy, slumpy Trump's fat orange face scares them from entering because 83% and we just completed the first hour doesn't appear encouraging. Take my name out of your maggot-filled mouth, Bush. But to be honest, Donald, your face looks very similar to Chica's orangey, fat, and round. Are you sure you aren't some glitched animatronics that somehow, some way evolved into humans? Then you must be ashamed that a human by mistake is light years smarter than you are. This guy with a bulging face like Obama's won't leave the right door for the last hour. Leave all the doors shut if you want to survive. I can't do that. We will run out of power quicker than we have been losing. That takes me back to the question I asked last night. Is this how this game has been truly designed to lose power so quickly? Or are we doing things wrongly? I'm beginning to think in that direction too. If we keep running out of power this fast, we won't stand any chance in the next three nights. That's if we even manage to survive this second night. Easy with the chatter, guys. I think I just heard a footstep outside. Switch the camera to confirm and stop thinking. I hate these fucking animals and can't stand the sight of them entering into this office again. It's just a game, Grumpy Humpty Dumpty Trump. Bush got hit last night, but guess who is here playing with us again? Bushy Wushy, of course. You say what? I said it is just a game and be easy with your emotions. I think Biden is actually fighting back well. 57% at 2 a.m. There is no hope for us. But that's much better than you did, Bushy Wushy. You were literally on 7% with over two hours to go last night. You should be grateful that I stepped in to save your dumb, shaky legs from getting devoured by those blood-sucking monsters, especially Freddy. Can these bastards just stay away for a while so we can at least keep the doors open? Exciting to see you can now tell the difference between a door and a wall. I don't know old men learn so fast. Old men, you mean Joe or maybe Bush? You are only four years younger than I am, Donald. Stop making it look like you are in your 40s while I'm almost 100. We are basically in the same age range. I have just one question for you, Biden. Go ahead. Who is younger between you and me? I'm only four years older than you are. I literally said this just a minute ago. Did you shove some ice cream down your ears? I asked a straightforward question. Can you two stop acting like high school kids? I don't care who is older, but allow Biden to focus on the game. There is really nothing to focus on. We will run out of power before 6 a.m. I have a plan. What about leaving the doors open for as long as possible and shutting them as soon as any of these animatronics try to step in? That can save us some power. You need to be as fast as the speed of light to pull that off. Cocaine sleeping, Joe? Let me tell you something. I am stunned he hasn't fallen off on the joystick while playing. I have zero belief he would be so quick to shut the door as soon as Big Eyed Chica tries to step in. Talk less of the scarier and faster Freddy and Bonnie. Two things. First, I think we can give it a try. Secondly, Donald, no one here is playing with a joystick. Does any gameplay actually still support that feature? No matter how hard you try to act younger, your archaic spirit always prevails. Stop fighting it, Grumpy Trump. Accept fate and enjoy the remaining years you have. All doors open. Power saving mode activated. That sounded like a sophisticated war command. Ha ha ha. Look out, Biden. Foxy is on your... Fuck, what just happened? I said it, but I blame you two morons for thinking this sleeping snail-moving koala would be faster than any of the animatronics we are up against. Safe to say Biden's win last night was a fluke, and he doesn't really know as much about the gameplay as he claims. Sorry, guys, I was a bit unsighted on my left. This is becoming embarrassing. First, it was Bush losing on the first night. Now Joe, who we all thought was a master of the game, just lost stupidly too. Enough of the blame allocations, I'll go next. I swear, Obama-rama would win and take us to the third night. But again, he would lose foolishly and blame it on someone. Maybe me for distracting him, Joe for not explaining the rules correctly, or Bushy Wushy for minding his business. I am not a prophet, but guys, watch this play out just as I have predicted. Let's go. If you ask me, I think my only worry is power. It's racing faster than time itself. That's everyone's worry, Baraki. You are not any special. Since after he lost, Joe has been unusually silent. Did you sustain any injuries, Biden? I'm good. I am just trying to study the game to remember how I used to win back then. Ha 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 ha. This old man is suffering from severe hallucinations. I read somewhere that hallucinations are a part of the game, especially on the second, third, and fourth nights. I'm not surprised. Obama, how are you getting along? Well, not bad. Not much happened, and I'm more than one hour gone already. These guys seem to respect me and be less troublesome. I guess you can implement my strategy now then. Less trouble means you can keep the doors longer than regular. You tried it, but it didn't work out. But because Baraki is a stubborn, headless chicken, you want him to try the same. 
No words. I swear it's a smart idea. Obama cannot keep up with this pace. The lights will go out even before 5 a.m. 56% and we just clocked three hours. That's better than the first round. I think comparatively things are looking good. Something is peeping through the curtains, but I really don't know what it is. Obama just shut the wall. Door. Whatever. The door, the door on, on the left. left. Oof, that was pretty close, so close. So Biden, that is how to be fast. Sadly, no amount of lessons can help you out of your demented state. Keep up with the meds anyway. They may help in the long run. Back to you, Bushy Wushy. I actually think Foxy looks like a fox. He really does. He? How are you sure Foxy is a man? Or is your misogynistic nature blooming in its glory already? 40% with two hours to go. Obama, I think you stand a good chance tonight. Can't wait to watch you scale through the third night too. When and how did Sleeping Joe become a cheerleader? If you cannot win and have admitted defeat, the next best thing to do is cheer those who desire to win. It's only a noble thing to do. Putting Joe and nobility side by side doesn't seem to sit well with me. Well, on a second thought, you are right. A bitter contestant who had to steal his opponent's votes to win definitely isn't noble. Come to think of it, I think Joe Biden and the power gauge have something in common. Hmm, I think I know where this is going. Ha ha ha. Me too, but we may be wrong. How and what do I have in common with an ordinary feature of a horror game for kids? Both of you run down faster than a cheetah escaping a predator. Okay, that hit home. If care isn't taken and we don't clock 6 a.m. very quickly, I bet Joe would fall asleep on his computer. Same old jokes, but somehow continue to hold water. I don't know how grumpy Trump does these things. Speaking of time, it's 5 a.m. already, and I still have 26 fucking percent of power. I think I have hacked this game. Guys, sit back and watch my prediction come to pass. It's playing out right in front of us. Sometimes I wonder how Donald thinks so retrogressive. How do you mean? I fell asleep while standing several months ago, and even the media have gotten over it. But no, a certain fat, stinking Oompa Loompa doesn't seem to get enough yet and would continue banting with that line till maybe the biblical Jesus comes the second time. Or maybe when you drop dead in the middle of a highway. There we go again. But Biden, why are you just speaking after almost an hour? I almost got lost in the banter you were referring to. I was about to say the same too. I bet he fell asleep in the middle of this call but couldn't afford not to make his point when he jerked back to life. This is becoming a case of massacre. Losing the first round tonight is enough injury already. Stop making your old buddy feel worse. And in the middle of it all, guess who just helped the entire clan scale to the third night? Yes, you got it right. The best president the United States of America has ever had. Barack fucking Obama. All thanks to Barack Obama, we wouldn't have made it to the third night. You can say that again. Even Biden, who claims to play this game better than we do, couldn't save our asses. Oof, now that Bush and Obama have made their first statements, I can now contribute to the call. I have a strong statement to make, but can we just take this call so the noise doesn't send my ears to its early grave? Okay, phone man, thank you for the call. Now to my statement, see, I may be everything, but I swear I am not a president who doesn't know how to appreciate his audience. You guys started tonight on the absolutely wrong foot. Dear viewers, I apologize on behalf of these ungrateful morons. Thank you for joining us for the third night in this monstrous dungeon. Don't forget to subscribe. Obama-rama, I think what is killing me more is Trump playing the I am reasonable card. We know what you are, Humpty Dumpty. You can take off your mask now. See, enough of this catastrophic beginning into the night. Can we all take our focus to the game now? As the best president the United States of America has ever had, trust me, multitasking is one of my best traits. The night has progressed fairly since the start of this video. I am not going to lie. Apart from still struggling to understand the lore of this game, its horrific concept is scaring the living daylight out of me. You are not alone on the scary concept, Bushy Wushy. I wonder why Biden suggested it in the first instance. Our viewers are enjoying it, and trust me, that is what matters the most. Well, maybe because you two have grown past the understanding age. It is not too hard to understand, trust me. Just keep these animatronics out until 6 a.m. and we will be good to go. Obama pandering around like a high school kid who just won a valedictory prize. I never knew Obama was vegetarian. Valedictory, dumbass. With the look of things, Obama-rama, your chances of winning tonight are very slim. Check the power. 75% at just 1 a.m. is a terrible run, if you ask me. Who remembers my prophecy? Well, not to be a prophet of doom, but watch it play out just as I have prophesied. I do not know about that, Donald, but I know that apart from the power draining very quickly, Barrack has been brilliant, keeping the animatronics far from the doors in the last hour. Well, why he has been excellent so far, like you said, isn't far-fetched. The power is suffering for it. Well, well, you have a point. The only point I'm trying to make here is that who else has noticed the progression in the difficulty of the game? This third night got Baraki sweating like a ram approaching the slaughterhouse. Well, in this case, if you do not get behind me and walk through this together, we all are the rams and here is our slaughterhouse. 
Where did your confidence fizzle away to in a minute, Obama? That is one of the dynamics of the game. One minute, you are confident of making it through the night, and the next minute, your pessimism is breaking the roof. What about the fear? But come to think of it, who rated this game safe for kids? If the horror can make the great Donald Trump this scared, only a half-brained psychopath would recommend it to children. What is the world turning into? Well, Donald, the progression of the world doesn't exactly affect Five Night at Freddy's. This game has been since the 80s. This forces me to ask, how exactly did this game come into existence? Before we dive into whatever history classes, Freddy and Foxy the Fox seem to be winning this battle. 61% with four more hours to go. Is there any way to restart this game, please? Obama-rama has made an absolute mess already. But to think of it, Donald, you are next handling the joystick. Don't be a dummy, Biden. We no longer use joysticks. Grow up. But truly, I am next. I am honestly freaking out. I guess we should just prepare for two more trials for this third round because I do not see myself fucking up these monstrous-looking animatronics. Who the fuck is this long-beaked guy at the private cove? I thought only Chica lurked around there. Is it safe to say I am surprised Donald still remembers the names of these bears? The fear in me has deleted so much data in my brain. You guys are both old and dementia-stricken. That bird with a beak was Chica. Guys, Grumpy Trumpy is reacting exactly like the Crying Child, one of the game's original characters. Who the fuck is Crying Child again? Is it an entirely new monster we would encounter as we progress into the nights? At this point, can we quit? My heart has become too fragile to survive the fear. I bet none of you are as scared as I am. In fact, you all have lived my fears. I am the next person to face these devilish babies once Obama exhausts his energy. Anyway, who exactly is the crying child that sleeping old Joe is comparing me with? <laughs> From the name, crying child is a child who loves to cry because of his irrational fear of animatronics. There is more to crying child, though. I should remember more. Maybe when Trump is fighting his battles. <laughs> You three have completely concluded that I will fail this round. I guess we should leave the doors open and surrender ourselves to them. But as the phone man said over the call earlier, that could even be a winning strategy too. Although it might be costly, leaving the doors open and pretending to be dead often fools the bears, especially Foxy, to think we are truly dead and would leave us alone. But if it doesn't work out, boom, we are doomed. You literally just repeated what the phone man said. We weren't deaf when he was speaking, old fool. All doors open, saying my last prayers already. Oh my goodness, what the fuck was that fried chicken doing? Even Joe Biden screamed with us. Everyone is pretty scared. We are all just faking courage. Well, I am not faking shit. It is my turn. And trust me, this isn't the Donald you used to know. I don't know why, but the whole animatronic shenanigans are messing with my head. It's unbelievable to think your fat orange head can get messed up this bad. Not even the United States general elections made you appear so much as a pussy. That wasn't scary. You were just a thief and cheat. Or maybe you are just a sore loser who cannot accept defeat. How did we go from being scared to talking about politics? Bushy wushy, nothing is impossible whenever Joe Biden and Donald Trump are involved. Respectfully, they are the two most confused, unserious, unaligned duos I have ever had to deal with all my life. Shut your trap, you poorly programmed robot mistaken for a human. Well, Grumpy Trump, enough of your side distractions. It is time to focus on the game before you become Freddy's or Bonnie's meal. We can only do this together. Not with Bushy Wushy, though. He is as blinded as I am. I have heard a lot of stories about this game, but I do not think I have heard anyone failing the first night before until Bush proved everyone wrong. I will take that as a compliment. Let's see what you will come up with. I do not expect Trump to do any better. But wait, why aren't we even paying any attention to the phone man this time? What else does he have to say that we haven't heard when you played? I have watched three of you play, but none of these animatronics were as aggressive as they are tonight. Did someone glitch the game to make me appear extremely scared and stupid? Well, it is just the mode of the game. The more nights we play, the more aggressive they become. With time, we would be introduced to even more mascots apart from Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Speaking about the mascots, Joe Biden, you were saying something about a crying child while I was playing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, as I mentioned, crying child hated the animatronics so badly that he could shit in his pants whenever they were around. <laughs> But he was the last child of William Afton, the original creator of Fred Bear and Bonnie. Because Crying Child hated Fred Bear, his elder brother Michael often taunted him with the animatronics. The taunts appeared all fun and good until they led to an unbelievable and unpredictable doom. Isn't it surprising that Joe knows so much about this game but still cannot help us win more than one night? Biden, please continue. The story seems to be climaxing already. Haha, -ha, what a way to shut that overbloated nincompoop up. I love to see this happen. During Crying Child's birthday, Michael, as he is notorious for, pranks his brother again by placing his head in Fred Bear's mouth, making the poor child shiver and fear for his life. 
just like the biggest guy in this room is right now. What is the essence of an exciting story without some harmful bans? Joe Biden is being a bully right now. I'm glad we all have lost at least one round of this game. So I guess we are all equal. For a fact, I may even do better than you bastards. Back to Crying Child's story. To everyone's surprise and shock, Fred Bear clamped its jaw down on Crying Child's head, killing him instantly. Wait, what? You mean, what the fuck? Now this story has just renewed my already easing fears. It's a story, old man, and that is all there is to it. Well, it is a graphic story, very graphic story. Trump, you seem to have this night by its balls. Your energy level is encouraging and suggests you will scale through 6 a.m. Stop speaking like an umpire, you cocaine-snorting piece of shit. This round is about me, not you. Don't twist the narrative. You literally asked us to help you scale through the night. Well, apart from me. But the point is, why are you being a snitch right now? Grumpy Trump has always been a snitch. Who wants to take a trip through the history of the Trump Towers? Snitch or no snitch, I bet we are surviving this night. Trump is turning things around despite his fears. 36% at 4 a.m. is better than what any of us here has achieved in the three nights in this office so far. I love to see my sworn enemy praise me on live TV. Vindication at last. We are on YouTube, Orangehead, or are we broadcasting this channel on live TV already? Excitement can lead to hallucinations. We have all been there before. Well, except me. I mean, Biden, you won your first night too, yeah? The same applies to you too, Obama-rama. I guess what Donald is experiencing is mere beginner's luck. Well, you weren't lucky, bushy-wushy. Too bad for you. You know what, Donald? Can you focus your attention on the hall lights? Freddie is most active during this period, and you do not want to throw your amazing efforts into the bin. That bear must be a deranged bastard. Two confused beings arguing baselessly. Anyway, we made it, guys. Welcome to the fourth night here in this office, scared and scarred old man. Surprising to see that you have shaken off your fears after playing just one round. It is not too hard to get used to the game. But I hope we are better prepared for this night because things have just gotten even tougher and scarier. Donald, can you pick up the damn phone already before it blows our ears off? To be honest, it is not that loud. But yeah, Trumpy, do us the favor. As we did in the last video, let's listen carefully, please. I think you can do it. Uh, hey, listen. I, think you I will talk to Melanie and I'll be back. I'm back. You missed the lore. Fucking goodness, I couldn't wait for the call to be over. What the fuck was that metallic sound, and who was banging the doors that hard? Hallucinations, false hopes, fear, maybe depression. Biden, what other adverse emotions does this game come with? Because I am currently on a roller coaster of everything I have just mentioned. I have seen more like a tour guide in this game, so technically animatronics get more aggressive and out of hand at this stage. As you can see, even the phone man has been scared off, so yeah, there are a lot of security watches we need to do tonight. I think the energy burns out even faster. Exhausting almost 20% while we are less than an hour into the night seems unreasonable. Again, guys, I definitely cannot do it on my own. Not now after Joe is scaring the shit out of me. I thought you started tonight rather confident. What happened? Did the phone man's reaction not take you off your seat, Obama-rama? Foxy has been by the curtain for a minute, waiting for the right time to pounce on you. I think Freddie was the one knocking earlier, too. Literally all of them are around. We need to keep our voices low and leave all doors shut. Our energy will run out faster, but it means we are safer for longer. Let's try that then. Left to me, I think Freddy is the most dangerous of the mascots tonight. It's hard to predict what he is up to next. Pretty hard. I do not mean to plant extra fears into us, but I have a gut feeling the phone guy has been killed. First, it was an intense pounding on the doors, then a chiming sound before he finally went off the call. Well, well, we cannot be too sure. He may or may not be dead. What matters is that we stay alive, win this round, and move to the fifth night. Five Nights at Freddy's is really a messed up game, and Joe is more messed up for liking this game. Donald, I think they are all equally dangerous tonight. Check out Chica and Bonnie, too. Beyond being restless and unable to pin them to a particular spot, they have also cost you usable energy when they banged on the door repeatedly. I think I am with Donald on this one. Freddy's unusual silence is worrisome. Moreover, Foxy hasn't been restless. He has been at that same spot for almost an hour. This is because Foxy tends not to move if you check it at least six times in an hour. This isn't a set-in-stone rule of the game, though. It is usually randomized, so we may not suffer the same fate as other players. We have been so focused on the reactions of the animatronics that we seem to have overlooked how the energy is rapidly draining. How did we use up about 30% and we just clocked 2 a.m.? Keep the left door closed, Donald. Keep it closed. Keep it shut this minute, Trumpy Rumped, and stop being an irresponsibly adamant idiot. Foxy has left where he stood and is surely coming for the door. Who here also loves it when Joe Biden sounds like a pussy? Ha 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 ha. 
To be honest, we all sound like pussies right now, so the joke is on you, Trump. You see, I left the doors open and no Foxy or Freddy is in sight. Sometimes you all just need to chill out and watch me man this game. Donald, at this point, again, we really need to know where you stand. Do you need us to help you watch the cameras too, or do you want to do it alone? You cannot be moving the goalpost every minute. Yeah, Donald, I think you need to be clear on what you want. I have never seen a scared person being arrogant. Another record broken by the almighty Donald John Trump. Again, Biden, this is a warning. Mentioning my middle name on this channel is disrespectful. Well, maybe Bonnie feasting on you for dinner wouldn't be disrespectful then. <laughs> I couldn't care less. What matters is that it's been four hours since the start of this game and we are still safe. 62% by 2 a.m. Bushy Wushy, you should be preparing to take over once he runs out of power and Freddie catches him unaware. But come to think of it, how and why are we getting this scared of just four animatronics? We are four grown adults here and can take them down one at a time. I am 77 years old, Baraki. How do you expect me to handle a programmed robot and not get murdered? Donnie's belly have loads of regenerative backup energy, so we are fine. It is impossible to face these mascots and win. For example, there was an event popularly regarded as the Bite of 87 involving all four animatronics, and since then, they have been banned from wandering during the day, which is why we only struggle with them at night. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? First it was crying child now bite of 87. It doesn't actually have a documented backstory, but what many players know is that it may be similar to the event of crying child, although crying child happened in 1983. Also, unlike crying child, the victim in 87 survived the bite, but without a frontal lobe. Wait, what? Can the human body actually survive without a frontal lobe? Grossly unbelievable, man. Only a chicken brain Joe Biden will believe that crap. While I may be doubting the story, I think Donald saying only chicken brains would believe it is very insulting to the community of Five Night at Freddy's Players. Donald has had to apologize countless times for almost every game we've played and every episode published on this channel. It is becoming unbearable at this point. Time and time I repeat, Donald is a slowly moronic Oompa Loompa opportune to lead an army of creatives at the Trump's Tower and ultimately become the President of the United States. The sooner we know and admit this, the better things will be for us. Apologies after apologies after apologies. I hate walking on eggshells. Is that you refusing to apologize? Anyways, focus on the game before we have a repeat of the bite of 87. Okay, okay, that hit home. Are you sure you care about Donald or are you just too scared of playing? You know you are next after Trump, right? Losing the first night doesn't automatically mean I am a terrible player. Well, it seems that- Fuck it, how did Freddy get into the office? When you were busy with conversations that do not hold water, I saw it but was too stunned to speak. The game is glitched again and again. Just a minute ago, I saw it in the hallway. How did Freddy sprint into the room and none of the cameras caught him? I mentioned this earlier tonight. Freddy can be really unpredictable. Donnie Trumpy, you should really take note. No one is listening to this phone guy again. Bro, he is literally repeating the same speech. This phone man is a programmed motherfucker. The phone man repeated his speech after Obama lost on the third night too. That's right. We are replaying the round, so technically the events would follow themselves like the previous one. So that explains the pattern. I lost my round on the first night while Biden won the second round. Biden lost the first round of the second night while Obama won the second round. Obama lost the first round of the third night while Donald won the second round. Hmm. So from all indications, I should be winning this round. Let's go. Permutations and combinations do not work here. You need a strategy to win. Apart from the phone man speech, I don't think anything else is repeated. Not even the energy consumption rate. Ha ha, I'm still scared though, but let's see how it goes. The first two hours have been pretty quiet. I guess the strategy of watching them closely so they rarely move is working. Yeah, of course it works, just that your energy would suffer for it. But you still need to pay more attention to Freddy though. Remember how irrational he can get, especially if you take your eyes off him for a minute. Trump has been unusually quiet. Old Orange, are you good? I am just watching keenly to identify where the game's glitch started from. I was 100% sure I hacked the game already. You need to start accepting losses in good faith. First, it was with Joe Biden at the general polls. Now at Five Nights at Freddy's, being a sore loser isn't exciting to see. Did you see that? See what? Where? Fuck, fuck, Foxy's coming down the hall and gonna eat me. Calm your sausage, Donnie. I closed the door already. That's what you call instincts. I don't want to die again. I miss my mama. You are making me speechless now, Donnie. I feel like I think I... Oh my goodness, fuck. Freddy sneaked in again. Ah! Why did no one warn me? I literally warned all of you right before the jump scare. That's it, that's it. This game has been glitched. There is absolutely no fucking way Freddy left the hallway and got into this office and none of the cameras could catch him. That is giving some speed of light levels. Damn, when do I get to win a round? I hate to be the one saying this, but bushy wushy, I doubt if you will ever win any rounds in this game. You really gotta step up your reaction speed, bro. Painfully hilarious. Losing the first night was the first bad omen. Well, now it's my turn. Kids, 
Watch how I strategically help us scale to the fifth night. At this point, I care less about scaling. I need to speak with the developers. This is unreasonably unrealistic. Trumpy, trust me, maybe that is what comes with the difficulties and horror of the game. We aren't the only players, remember? Joe, you better win this round. I wonder what the fifth, sixth, and seventh nights would look like. We may never get to know until we get to that stage, but no worries, I am here to help you do that. If you were as good as your knowledge of the game's lore, none of us would have gotten the chance to play and embarrass ourselves, because you will continue winning each night until the seventh. Donald might be right this time. Biden, tone down the gloating and focus on the game. Imagine how catastrophic it would be between you and Grumpy Trump should you lose the round two. More like a disaster waiting to happen. He 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 he. I will be here waiting. With 84% at just 1 a.m., my worry definitely isn't energy draining out. My focus is more on Freddie and maybe Bonnie. Again, they have been uneventful since the night began, but I'm sure they are plotting on how to catch me unaware. I wish we could have different screens for different camera angles. That would have made monitoring easier. Is it not shocking to see Sleeping Joe actually think ahead? This game must really bring out the best in you. Actually, the worst. I think it reveals darker secrets of that losing fraud. What do you mean? How can an 81-year-old president of the United States find a children's horror-themed game very exciting? How come he knows so much about the game? This points to one thing. He loves to spend so much time around kids. So the big question is, what is he doing around those innocent, unsuspecting children? Are you reaffirming that Joe Biden is a pervert? If that is what you make of my speech, then who am I to counter that? How does knowing how to play a children's game translate to being a pervert? In my defense, I will say I learned to spend more time with my kids when they were younger and grandchildren. Can you say the same Humpty Dumpty? You all are just going around in circles. Grow up, guys. At this point, I think Biden is the fraud who rigged this game himself. How the fuck are these demonic babies suddenly calm when it got to his turn to play? How? They were literally all over the place when I was trying to keep them away from the office. Don't you think you are simply making a joke of yourself for the viewers to have fun over? I mean, first it was your pervert claims, and now your conspiracy is that I have rigged the game. I am not even a part of the developers, for goodness old sake. I think it is time for us to actually concentrate and figure out how Biden is finding a way around this thing. Are you doing anything to keep them away, Biden, or they just choose to leave you alone? Mm. You need to understand what tames the animatronics each night and follow the rules to the latter. For example, tonight is night four, and to keep Freddy calm for the night, you need to let him know you are constantly checking up on him. One minute away, and you will be shocked to find it on your face. But for Bonnie, the trick is to pretend you aren't checking it and make it feel like it doesn't exist in your book. The same applies to Chica, too. If you look at the cameras excessively, it would trigger them to attack. And trust me, their attack is even deadlier than Freddy's. Joseph Biden Jr., you are an absolute cheat and unhealthily competitive bigot. Why weren't you this detailed at the start of the game? Trump, stop being a crybaby. You cannot always blame your losses on Joe Biden. You blamed losing the general elections on him, blamed him for ousting you with the judiciary, and now for making you lose a fucking game. Ha ha ha. See who claims to be the boss at playing FNAF? 35% at 4 a.m. doesn't look like a boss move. Who wants to place a bet on Biden losing the game? I already said I worry less about running out of energy. I'm very sure about that. I think I saw Freddie at the show stage just now. Can you return there, Joe? It's apparent you two haven't been paying attention for a while. Freddie has been there long ago. The goal is to keep him there and prevent him from getting to the dining area or restrooms. Once he gets there, then we are closer to doom than the energy is closer to zero. Joe is light years ahead of his in this game. I cannot wait to go back to playing Wordle, where I stand a chance at least. Or maybe Google Feud, where I can comfortably whoop you all asses. While you hallucinate, Joe Biden got us safely to 5 a.m. One more hour to go, Biden. The final hour is very critical. This is when the animatronics are most active. They also know you are almost escaping the night, so they try to prevent that from happening. Ha ha ha, your confidence is breaking the roof, but I hope this low energy doesn't soil your strategic moves so far tonight. If you ask me, my mind has shifted to how night five would be. I look confident in all that tonight, but the truth is I was and still am equally scared. But trust me, I have been playing by the rules. I know what you're doing, Biden, but I won't say anything else until you lose. Donald being a bitter hater is really a terrible sight. 9% and almost an hour to go. Well, all fingers crossed. Freddy is still at the show stage. Nah, this is an easy victory for me. I'll leave the doors closed now and chill out for the clock to turn 6 a.m. This confidence is killing me. We are now at 5%. This hour is taking forever and giving me heaps of anxiety. Joe still looks chill, though. Let's trust him. Here I will take a final look at the animatronics. So Freddy stayed at the show stage, Foxy was at the Pirate Cove, 
Oops, guys, I guess there is no need for any more roll calls. We made it through the night. Gentlemen, Joe Biden made it look really easy. After multiple trials, I think night four seemed to be the hardest night so far for us. Well, Donald, you can say something now. Your wait is long over. Ha 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 ha. Donnie, what about me losing? Welcome back, children. So because we play kids' games now makes us children, Urgh. Donald is letting us start on a bad note again. The phone guy is calling earlier than usual today. I told you he didn't die last night. So, Joe, will you pick it up already? Wait, what the fuck did I just listen to? Now it seems clearer that the phone man was killed last night and the animatronics decided to taunt us tonight by calling us again, maybe pretending to be him and make us get distracted. That sounded like Freddy's thick voice. I doubt these conspiracies, guys. Freddy is currently at the show stage and Foxy is at the private cove. These are the two mascots that can pull this kind of stunt. Joe Biden seems to know these guys too well. Only if you can exert as much energy as this one into being the president that you are and not a puppet answering to some God knows who men. Too early for that, Trump. Too early. Is there a time frame for me to speak the truth? Guys, tonight can be extremely dangerous and even the best players of this game struggle to go past the stage. I saw this coming. I feel we should have ended this journey on the fourth night. Nah, that doesn't speak well of us to our viewers. They visit YouTube daily to check out how far we are faring in Freddy's house. What should we leave them with? Forgive self-centered, bushy-wushy. Dear viewers, we promise to keep the train until the end, even if it means we will fail a thousand and one times. Hmm. So, did you see how I addressed Bush's mess without asking for a forced apology? That is how to handle dispute resolution. I hope you all learn on time, apart from Biden anyway, it is too late for him. How did you mean it is too late for me? What the fuck, you unholy moron? You look like you can drop dead at any minute from now, I swear. And considering your long history of cocaine addiction, we can only be thankful that you could last this long on the face of the earth. Trump, you need to get your facts right. Every episode, you have at least one allegation against Joe Biden. And that is because this old fool lived a tremendously destructive lifestyle. It's alarming to see him lead the United States for four years. And guess what? He is planning to go for a second term. This guy is so clueless, he thinks dying in power is the greatest achievement on earth. That sounded like the typical narrative of a third world country. I am not having that conversation with any of you. That's a really controversial and tricky conversation to have on YouTube. You don't want to have us canceled, do you? Stop hiding behind the facade of playing safe, Biden. We all know you have no words in defense, but it's fine. Turn your focus to the game so you do not argue that our conversations distracted you and made you lose. Speaking of distraction, Biden, I was thinking, to make this video more fun, why not walk us through the strategies of winning the fifth round from your knowledge of the lore of the game? And we can take turns trying them out to see who would win first. That sounds like a perfect plan. I'm tired of being scared to my pants every minute. I want to enjoy the narrative, too. Sounds like a great plan until you realize Biden is just a newbie like the three of us. His theoretical knowledge isn't as sound as his playing skills, but let's see how it goes. In that case, I guess I should bow out as the champion already. Ha ha ha. Just shut your disgusting cocaine-filled trap already. On a more serious note, I would leave both doors open while we wait for any of the animatronics to walk into the office. On the side, I strongly believe Foxy would be the first to get in. It's obviously Freddy. Even when we were all on our toes guarding the office, Freddy found a way to sneak in twice. How about now that we keep the doors open? Freddy just laughed for the fifth time. He is here already. See the bastard? Ha 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 ha. I said it. That Trump looking bear doesn't waste opportunities. So who is going first? I guess we should continue with the previous sequence until someone wins this night for us. That person is me. I'm the smartest person amongst us, you know. The question is who is going first, Donald, not who the smartest person is. And going by Bushy Wushy's theory, Obama is next. The three of you are super hilarious. I began already. I expected that the phone man would have called again. Then that means we were all wrong, including Biden last night, when we concluded that each round is a repeated sequence. The phone man is dead, bro. There is no one to call us for instructions or goodwill messages again. The call when Biden was playing earlier is probably a glitch or something. I don't even believe anymore that the animatronics faked the call. A lot of speculations, but can we all watch the cameras alongside Baraki, please? You said something about Freddie laughing five times. What's the logic behind that? That shouldn't be hard to decipher contextually, dummy. Once Freddie Bear laughs five times, it means you are already dead meat. The smartest amongst us, indeed. Trumpy is somewhat correct, but there is more to it. Whenever Freddie laughs, it indicates that he has changed his location. And like I mentioned last night, Freddie always begins his night at the show stage before moving to the dining area, restrooms, the kitchen, and then the office. These are five locations. So, whenever you hear his fifth laugh in a night, then he is most likely already behind you waiting to attack. Thanks, Biden. That sounded like a fucking lecture. Technically, he is our lecturer now. 
Following Sleeping Joe's logic, I think I just heard Freddy's fifth laughter since we began this round. Be a good boy, Freddy. Don't come out this night. Wait, what? Fuck! Fuck's sakes, this fifth night is tough, and Freddy has decided to take us all out with the sword. Trump is next. That sounded so much like a death roll. Chill out, Biden. We all know who is going when. The anxiety the name calling gives is almost what expecting Freddy in the office gives. I am with Trumpy on this one. Let's all chill out and go at our own pace. That doesn't mean we would forget to call out Obama's bluff anyway. Man was strikingly awful. It is time to focus on your game before you get rounded up by Freddy or maybe Foxy this time. Freddy should be tired of sneaking already. Oh my world, do these guys ever get tired? Ha 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 ha, well maybe when it is 6 a.m. How's it going, Donald? Now you sound like a supervisor making rounds during work hours. I see what you are doing anyway, making yourself the fan's favorite as the absolute Don who has hacked five nights at Freddy's. I bet the viewers can see beyond that veil. Grumpy Trump, I think the only thing the viewers can see is Biden putting his ego aside and helping his favorite U.S. presidents also get better at playing five nights at Freddy's. Nothing more. So technically Joe Biden is the hero tonight while Donald is the villain. I love to see this. You all should wait and see me win before I force you to choke on your words and collapse at my feet. Well, of course, not away from Biden's help. Isn't it fun seeing Baraki going all out for sleeping Joe? Birds are the same feathers, they say. Both of them are war promoters, so they fit in the same shoe. It was the Middle East for Obama, while Biden has been doing negative wonders in the Russia-Ukraine catastrophe. Freddie has been kept at the show stage so far. Great work but Foxy seems to have left the private cove. So, Donald, you need to focus more on the left door. That's Foxy, the Fox's favorite place to come in from. I'm slowly catching up. So first, we need to consistently turn the camera on the show stage to keep Freddy from leaving locked. Let's see how it goes. I'm hoping Trump doesn't mess up this night. That way, I know I am safe. Actually, Obama, that is the easiest way to pass night five. Well, that I know of. Just continuously check the cameras at the show stage in Private Cove and monitor the doors properly for any new trick that may be approaching. But now Foxy has left the Private Cove. In that case, that's the major threat now. I think Bonnie and Chica are my primary threats. Those guys were up and active on night three. How come they haven't been eventful tonight? Then why are you worrying about them? Do you worry when Melania doesn't give you any trouble? I was about to say we are on a two-night streak of not pulling our wives' names into the mud on this channel. But guess who just got disappointed? Joe, disrespecting Jill is one of the easiest things to do because her name itself connotes disrespect. But I didn't get this far tonight to lose it all to some horrific bears because of such a silly argument. Philosophical typical Donald Trump. I love the way Trump has been checking on Freddie endlessly. The orange man doesn't want to leave room for any chances. At this point, I think Donald is playing a reverse psychology game on these animatronics. Saying Chica and Bonnie are your biggest threats, but you pay utmost attention to Freddy seems like a mystery to me. I'm just shuffling through the cameras and noting where these mascots are. Once I notice any change in location, I shut the door and trust me, I would do it quickly. Unlike slow Joe Biden on the second night. Grumpy Trump never forgets, or does he? I remember you stole my votes three years ago. I remember the filthy messages you forwarded to Melania. I remember you backed your perverted son while you didn't debunk the claims of you being a pedophile. Truly, I rarely forget. That looked like a shot on Joe's leg. Too bad. Everything is looking good from this end. And trust me, it is not beginner's luck. I seem to have understood this game almost completely. Is that the part where you appreciate Joe Biden? Biden can suck my penis and choke on the cream for all I care. Donald, this channel is rated PG. Don't allow YouTube to cancel us. Yet another eggshell. At this point, saving energy shouldn't be an issue anymore. Freddie remains at the show stage, and that is really our biggest worry on the fifth night. Biden, Freddie, or Fox, which is the greatest worry? Well, I will pick Freddie first. He has whopped us in the ass, I think, thrice already. Fuck it, I just saw Bonnie by the door. Ha ha ha, Donald literally screamed like a bitch right now. I told you Bonnie and Chica seem to be more dangerous. Well, thankfully, Trump now knows the difference between a wall and a door. You took that right out of my mouth. Fuck the both of you. I wish I could unload some magazines into your skull, mash them with a pestle, and discard them to waste into the air. That's graphic. I think you need to keep both doors closed at this moment. Bonnie just tried to enter through the right again. We cannot be too careful. I think we need to gamble our choices. Leaving both doors closed will empty the power sooner than it should be. I guess it is left to Donald to ride us safely to daylight. That had a different meaning to me, but I get the point anyway. Freddy is still at the show stage. I haven't seen Foxy in the last hour. Trust me, let's hope it remains that way because its next move might be deadly. Letting Foxy go out of sight doesn't always end well, but it's almost 6 a.m., so yeah, we can survive. Hoof! I guess I rode you all safely to daylight. Chica almost came out of nowhere to ruin this moment.
Ha ha ha, too late you Thanksgiving dinner. I hope you all give me my flowers before it is too late. Good one, boys. Now you have officially completed five nights of Freddy's. But as you guys all experienced from Sister's Location and Pizzeria Simulator, there will be night six and night seven coming up. Damn it, night four and night five is already hard enough. We are in this together, Bushy. We shall conquer the next two nights together. Has none of you realized how petty the boss is here? Only 120 bucks after putting our lives on the line for five days straight. Even if I eat McDonald's three meals a day, 120 bucks ain't enough. That was 40 years ago, Donnie, so things are cheap back then. The sixth night of Five Nights at Freddy's sounds clumsy. Why can't the game be named Seven Nights at Freddy's, or is there something we are missing out? Mailing the developers shouldn't be much of an issue. What do you think, Biden? Grumpy Trump is infamous for causing chaos on this channel. Should we be worried that the early bouts of drama are coming from you and Bushy Wushy while Donald looks a bit more serious than he used to? It is pretty challenging to be special. Whatever you do or say would have a deeper meaning to your fans, lovers, and critics. I understand you, Joe Biden. I really do. You mean people with special needs? Does that explain the concept behind your fat, orangey face? Obama-rama looks a bit touchy and aggressive tonight. And who has also noticed that the phone man hasn't called us so far? So that answers our suspicions. He has been killed. Can animatronics kill themselves? Well, I have never given that a hard thought before, but I do not think robots die, or do they? Since we are progressing in difficulties, I bet tonight would be way more challenging than last night. Trumpy, please do me the favor and win. I stand no chance against these four devils, and Obama-rama has been waiting patiently for another opportunity to drag me by my balls. Who says I am not waiting for that, too? Anyway, away from that, Biden, does the same strategy for the fifth night apply here? <laughs> to a considerable extent, yes. You need to continue watching Freddy to prevent him from leaving the show stage. The same applies to Foxy, too, but you... Save yourself the stress, Biden. Foxy has left the private cove already. I was about to say that, too. Hoof. I guess it is about to be a really stressful and deadly night, then. We are barely an hour into it. Can we survive five more hours shutting the door repeatedly against the incredibly fast and cunny Foxy? Wait, can you return to the show stage? Freddy is no longer there, too. Boom! At this point, losing is inevitable. Well, not exactly, just that our energy may have to suffer for it. Also, there have to be fewer conversations so we can focus more on the various cameras. Extra, extra work. You know, on a deeper thought, I would really like to know what was going on in the mind of the developer of this game. How messed up and psychopathic he or she must be. I share the same bias. It looks like the developer time traveled and imagined what living with aliens would look like. Because that is the only plausible explanation I could give to this game's narrative. Keeping animatronics out for the whole fucking night. Well, none of your guesses are actually correct. Ha <laughs> ha. But let's leave it at that, Donald. You need to keep the right door shut as long as possible. That is Freddy's favorite path to entering the office. What about Foxy or Bonnie or Chica? All of them are on the loose already. We just need to keep fighting until there's no strength left to fight. Bushy Wushy, you have been unusually silent for almost half an hour. Oh, you noticed? I was hoping no one would. I'm prepping ahead. Once Trump loses, I am the next. And from all indications, there is no chance for the fat ass to survive the sixth night. Chica has been very quiet since night three. Is that how he is, or are we doing something that is keeping him off the cameras? Once again, Chica is a she. Fucking Freddy laugh. Close them doors. No way. There is absolutely no way Freddy is in the room. <laughs> What about we say your face scares off the animatronic? Ha ha ha, oh my god. That is very unfair, Joe. Trump deserves some apology. I have warned you severally about force. Oh my goodness. Who left the right door open? Fuck you, Biden. You distracted me. You fucking made me lose my focus. Maybe you should take the blame this one time for your loss and not shift it on another. No one will fault you. We all know how difficult the nights are. The onus now lies on me. This is very laughable. How can a blind bat walk during the day? Or maybe a brainless man leading the wealth capital of the world? Are you referring to someone we all know? I am not used to mentioning names, and I won't begin today. I would pretend not to know that Oompa Loompa is talking about me, but again, I repeat, no one loves you in the state. Your first presidency was a mistake no one would love to happen again. Get used to the defeat and go home to meet your wife happy for the first time in three years. One day, I believe this fight of supremacy will be over and we can have free-flowing gameplays without your shenanigans. To think I am enjoying this conversation, I mean, it is keeping my head in the game. Bro, you are barely an hour into the night. What the fuck are you talking about? Not gonna lie, Grumpy Trump really sounded like a pick-me Gen Z right now. Gen Z? What does that even mean? Old Sleeping Joe, tell us you are joking and you actually know the various human generations. What are you talking about, Humpty Dumpty? Biden Gen Zs are basically our sons and daughters born between 1997 and 2005, if I am right. So what is really special about 
about them that makes them have a special name. Biden and Bushy Wushy, you two are supposed to live in a cave away from all civilization. Do you even know the generation you belong to? See, all of these shenanigans are mere fallacies. I bet someone busy with real life issues wouldn't have time to give themselves specific names. How is that even different from astrology signs? Astrology signs and generation names are completely different, but I guess that conversation would be for another day. Bushy, there is a fire on your roof already, and this time Chica is your terrorist. That means you haven't been paying attention. You're a guy. Your camera just caught Freddie in the dining area. Four of them at your door translates to the same scenario as Trump. Your chances are very slim. Third loss in a row. Bush, you really need to scale up. Trump and I have been trying. You haven't won a single night yet. That sounded like a high school teacher scolding his pupil. Not to mention you sounded like a starved bitch, by the way. I guess it's my duty to save you guys from the troubles of these animatronics then. At least by now, the fattest man on this call now believes it is no longer beginner's luck. Take your crown and run with it. Enough of the gloating and egoistic display. We all know how terrible you are at the other games we play on this channel. And not to mention that you still get your introductions wrong for the 1001 time. This looks like a coup against poor Biden. Too bad for them. They can only do it in this game. We know how trapped both Baraki and Donald are in real life. The FBI is chasing one for his influence in the Middle East, while the other crybaby is undergoing trials for multiple criminal cases. So yeah, you get the point. That's a KO. I bet Mike Tyson is jealous right now. Obama Rama, would you say something? I'd rather I kept quiet and focus on the cameras. Winning the sixth night means we have a deadlier seventh to battle with. Obama is right. By the way, Chica has been at the left door twice. Your magic isn't working tonight, Biden? Well, in his defense, Foxy and Freddie are still in the private cove and show stage, respectively. So, it's safe to say he has been pretty brilliant in the last one hour. We have a friend here who couldn't go past that, remember? Obama-rama, I know you better than you using my ignorance as a ban against me. What was the name of the kid that hated Freddy so much but eventually got killed by it? Crying child? Exactly. Bushy Wushy really sounded like that right now. Obama obviously hit home with his last statement. On the brighter side, Bush, I think things are getting better. It is just hard to see because the nights are getting tougher. You have more clues now, and trust me, you would be better in FNAF Part 2 than you are now. Wait, there is a Part 2? Actually, there are up to four parts. What the fuck? Ha 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 ha, this is incredibly hilarious. Wait, can you return to the show stage? I can't see Freddy. Blind bat, he is there staring at you, hoping you are his next meal. Actually, only Bonnie and Chica have been wayward so far. Foxy remains at the cove, and Freddy is at the show stage. I swear those two are going nowhere. I might be wrong, but with your energy ratings at 3 a.m., a power outage should be your least worry. That is right. 41% is not bad. Although risky, it should suffice until 6 a.m. Why is Bonnie your headache tonight? Man was unusually quiet against me, but suddenly remembered he had some humans to attack when it became your turn. Maybe we have a personal vendetta. Ha ha ha. I'm glad it isn't Freddy anyway. That motherfucker is way faster and would have slipped off my hands if he were the one by the door. Exactly. That drives me back to my point that this game has been rigged in your favor just to make you look like the expert. How the fuck did Bush, Obama, and I have to struggle so hard with Freddy, but you only have the rather quiet Bonnie and Chica to contend with? Well, 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 at this point, Grumpy Trump might be right. A pattern is forming, and it is very similar to what happened on the fourth night. Aren't you too excited that Biden is winning this game on our behalf? Donald, no one rigged the game, and I am only playing by the rules, as I explained earlier. Do not take your eyes off Freddy, and you can be free from his troubles throughout the night. Shut your stinking mouth and take your glory. 6 a.m. is almost here. Lest I forget, in the original storyline of the Five Nights at Freddy's, this night, the sixth, was when the legendary bite of 87 happened. The one that left someone living with a frontal lobe? That superstitious nonsense? Poof! Then I am suggesting the guilty animatronic is either Freddy or Bonnie. Two of them seem to be most active this night based on data on the four of us gameplay. Well, we cannot be too sure. Away from historical balderdash, Joe Biden, your energy is almost on zero. Phew, I was pretty sure Biden was going to make it. This sixth night is really complicated. Ah, looks like we need another part to finish the sixth night. Now that the lights are off, how do we keep the animatronics away? Bonnie especially. Bonnie is the one with the shiny eyes staring right at us. I think that is Freddy. Whoever it is, I do not think we stand any... Oh my goodness, we made it. That has to be the closest shave at death I have ever experienced. Whoa, we thought Trumpy's experience with Chica was close. Boy, this one is even closer. Yeepee! Finally, we are on the seventh and last night of the Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, technically, yes, the seventh night, but not exactly the last. There are still a few more parts. You mean there is a night eight? No, I mean there is FNAF 2, 3, and 4. 
Not to nag, but I enjoy how amazing this game has made Joe Biden appear really smart. I mean, if no one else is saying it, I will. Man hasn't gotten no introduction wrong since we began this game. Well, he got the second night wrong. Stop exaggerating, bushy wushy. Well, you all get the point I am driving at. Guys, this is my favorite horror game. You shouldn't expect less. All of these do not contribute to what would go down tonight. How are we approaching the animatronics this time? Tonight is relatively faster and deadlier, but I trust we are all prepared. It is the seventh night, so it shouldn't catch us by any surprise. Especially with how draining the sixth night was. So I was wondering, what is the plan after we completed five nights at Freddy's? Would we return to our regular games or continue in this horrific mode? Honestly, I haven't given that a thorough consideration. But now that you have brought it up, what do you think, guys? Trumpy asked, then Obama. You responded with the same question. How does that make sense? Who would be left to answer if we all responded with our respective questions? That is why I say time and time again that Obama is a programmed robot. But this time, I think his programmer included the brain of a jellyfish, which makes the whole scenario worse. I really do not know how you guys drifted so quickly from the game to discussing your respective brains, but honestly, with the look of things, I might have lost my mojo tonight. These animatronics are seriously winning. Unbelievable, Joe Biden is reporting himself to the board of directors. Who appointed these directors? Ha 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 ha. If Joe is this frightened and pessimistic, how then are we going to survive the heat? You know the irony, Bushy? I am actually familiar with- the Ah, fuck! I made an early mistake, which is currently throwing a wrench into all my efforts. Excuses upon excuses upon excuses. Biden, can you man up to your nonsense at least once and take responsibility for the failure you have made your life become? Ha 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 ha. Freddy, yet again for the umpteenth time. If I had my way, I would include arm features in this game and Freddy would be the first person I would blow off. Tell me you are a war promoter and apologist without saying it directly. Orange head, it is not that deep. There are thousands of shooting games on Apple and Google Play stores. Do you mean every developer of these games is a war apologist? Although big and round, I bet there is no brain in Trump's carton-shaped head. So I am not surprised. I am only shocked you and Baraki are. Anyways, Obama-rama, let us know if you need any help. Can anyone actually play this game to the end and not require external support? That person must be a psychopath. But if anyone is willing to lend a helping hand, it shouldn't be Biden, who just played the most terrible game we have ever had to watch on this channel. I think your manhunt on Biden is becoming exaggerated. Man literally helped us scale more than two nights since we began this episode. You need to do better to earn the position of a critique. I mentioned earlier that Sleeping Joe was thriving on you and Baraki's ignorance. The crackhead is as much a newbie as all of us in the game. A random theoretical knowledge that could be gotten from a simple Google search cannot blow my head up. I think I am threading the same path Biden followed. Can someone explain to me why Freddy is no longer in the show stage and Chica has refused to leave the left door? That was my blunder too. I didn't pay enough attention to Freddy, causing him to leave the show stage earlier than he should. Maybe he was just faster than you imagined. Tonight is the hardest night, remember? And in the middle of all these, who else has noticed that the energy bar is draining every minute? Is that a part of the difficulty? Uh, apparently, yes, but I do not think it makes sense. Yes, the animatronics can become more aggressive and deadlier, but having to contend with an unnecessarily draining energy rating doesn't make sense. It doesn't give players a fair chance to compete. Or maybe we are the ones doing something wrong and causing the energy to drain quicker. Trump, I see you have been silent in the last half an hour, and I know what exactly you are trying to do. Stop going mute to draw undue attention to yourself. You can also join in the conversation without feeling any less. Trust me, no one really cares about you as much as you think. Obama, I think you went in too hard with that one. But honestly, Grumpy Trump has been unbearable lately. Maybe he is living up to his name, Grumpy. It really does fit him. Shut your traps, loquacious morons. I think you deserve your speech more than I do, Obama-rama. Trust me, it is not always about you. Stop overrating yourself. The only person who cares about you is Michelle, and it is because she has no choice. Donald finds every opportunity to drag our wives into this conversation. If you do not respect Melania, we actually respect our wives and would not want their names in the mud. Speak for yourself, Bushy Wushy. If Biden respects his wife, he won't plan to replace her with underage kids. What the fuck are you talking about? My wife now watches this channel. You should know when to draw the line. Line my fucking foot. Maybe you should first learn to keep your hands in your pocket around school kids. By the way, by kids I mean boys and girls. Your dementia-stricken, sex-hungry body does not know holes that shouldn't be entered into. Every single sentence Trump has made in this video so far has contained varying levels of vulgar words that a responsible U.S. president shouldn't be caught saying in public. 
What do you expect from a 77 years old sexual predator that was caught grabbing women's pussies in public? Obama, Chica is in the dining room. Freddie just left the dining too. Can you check the private cove to see if Fox is still there? I doubt that possibility anyway. Let me check. And there, you ugly orange pumpkin! Bro, he was literally in this office already. Emperor Donald John Trump, wow. Bushy, perf, no problem. The man who seems to have so many words to say suddenly becomes speechless. Definitely the worst is about to happen. Actually, Trumpy, there is a problem. Again, I am rooting for you to win this round and help us round off this unnecessarily horrific game we found ourselves playing. I can't do that, and I do not want to make myself another laughingstock on YouTube tonight. Unlike sleeping demented Joe Biden, I swear I wouldn't blow my trumpet until I beat these animatronics to their games. After I win, I'll advise you to go off this call immediately and deactivate your mobile devices. Endless threats from someone who claims to be a peace agent. I don't think watching Freddy repeatedly to keep him in the show stage works this night. Instead, it only leaves you vulnerable to the other three mascots, especially Chica. Chica doesn't trouble Trump. He is scared of his face and would rather electrocute itself to death than stand Trump looking at him. Things are getting calmer, Bushy Wushy. There is no point in igniting the fire again. Bush isn't wrong anyway. If you notice the pattern, Chica doesn't actually trouble Donald in all the nights he has played. It might be a coincidence, but you know, we cannot absolve conspiracies from the game. I have no words for you two, but away from the banders, to be honest, Trump has actually played tonight's game better than Joe Biden and me. It is normal for a student to be better than his teacher. I mean, that is technically the prayer of every tutor. Keep trying very hard to keep your relevance. It still doesn't eliminate the fact that the viewers can now see beyond the facade that you are a newbie, just like I, Obama, and Bush. That is my goal, and I am excited to have achieved it. And guess what? I am bowing out in the most memorable way possible. Winning. While I do not have the balls to play this seventh night, I secretly wish Grumpy Trump loses this round. He hasn't won, and he is causing a menace already. Well, unless an animatronic sneaks in, I don't think Trumpy can lose tonight. 42% at 3 a.m. brings him to the same level I was on night six, and yeah, I won that round. So in other words, we are all going to be fucked over by this marinated pork tonight. Terrible times ahead. So Biden, if no one asks, I will, what is the reward after completing the first part of Five Nights at Freddy's? Did we get any rewards for winning Google Feud, Wordle, and every other game we have played on this channel? But none of them kept us on the edge like this one. Bushy literally confessed to peeing on his pants the other night. When the fuck did I say that? You can make your point without making false claims, moron. If Trump meant that figuratively, then I agree with him. We deserve to be compensated after these seven horrible nights filled with endless nightmares. It is unbelievable that Donald has kept Freddy at the show stage until now. This Oompa Loompa must have rigged this game or tweaked the settings while no one was watching. Nah, not you, Biden. That sounds exactly like what Trump would say if he didn't want to accept his rival winning. I admit to not knowing how to play the game before now, but trust me, after winning this seventh night, to hell with whatever theoretical knowledge any one of you has. I am currently the dawn of Five Nights at Freddy's. I challenge any of you to contest my claims. 16% and 5 a.m. is almost over. You definitely earned your bragging rights, but I do not think you match Biden's strategic moves. I think Biden is a better player too. Losers, allow Biden to speak for himself. <laughs> Why not let us leave our viewers to decide on our behalf? Guys, just as we cross the 6 a.m. mark, help us settle the age-long battle between Donald and Biden. Who is the better player in Five Nights at Freddy's? We will be reading the comments. I wouldn't resign my fate to a cheap popularity contest. You all can choke on your spit for all I care. Congratulations for getting us all fired, Donnie. Joe Biden, you. I'm out before they start fighting. Hey, hey, hey.